So in this video here, we're going to take a look at a roadmap to become a computer vision engineer, starting out with basic programming, mathematics, like how we can get into computer vision, basic in-processing and so on, how we can get started with projects, create real life applications and also projects around that, which is a really good thing to learn uh, new things and especially within computer vision. Then we're going to cover some advanced topics in computer vision, where we're going to cover like free division and also like just video processing in general, how we can compile all of that. So once you have like fully understanding of computer vision in general, like advanced topics, free division, how we can combine two division, free division, what are the differences? Um, how can you work with all these different things, which is the traditional computer vision methods. Then we're going to cover machine learning and deep learning, how that can be combined with computer vision, which is some of the newer things going on right now in computer vision. And it's also really essential when you're a computer vision engineer, when we're talking about like optic detection, optic tracking, segmentation of different optics and so on. So computer vision is more moving towards machine learning and also deep learning. So these AI based approaches and methods where before we're using like classical methods for like setting up projects, applications and so on. But a combination of all these things is really essential and you'll still need the basic image processing understanding to be able to become a computer vision engineer because we're combining all the things, we're wrapping them together. So we'll just cover the first element here, which is basic programming and mathematics. So you'll need some basic programming skills to start with and also mathematics. You've probably already learned this if you have taken a lot of calculus in high school or maybe in university as well. So for mathematics, we need to know linear algebra. We, we need to know like how matrices work, like how we can do different types of matrix operations because we're going to do that a lot when we're talking about computer vision. Either if we're doing like camera calibration, we try to like apply different methods, different parameters, and also different matrices on our images, which is often the case. Because again, when we're working with images, we're basically just working with pixel in our images, which is the same as a matrix. We also need some basic programming skills. It could be Python to start out with. I'll definitely recommend Python if you're just starting out. We can also use like C++ for computer vision and so on. But most of the module, most of the frameworks are actually like wrappers. In, if you're using it in Python, they are actually like wrappers on top of C++ code. So you'll still get the performance and speed from that. So definitely just start out with Python get familiar with programming, get familiar with how we can set up classes, write different functions, for loops and so on, how we can import different modules and use that in code, because then we can start combine programming and mathematics together. And that is really essential when we're talking about computer vision. So the next element here is introduction to computer vision. So just like get a quick overview what is inside computer vision, what is computer vision and what can be used for before starting tracks like play around with some different image processing techniques to start with basically just use OpenCV. I'll recommend you to do that just to get familiar with a lot of different image processing techniques. So you should definitely use OpenCV as your image processing library, especially like if you're starting out, it is really good and it's used in so many applications and projects out there, even in production projects and just wrapping everything together. Also, if you're using machine learning and deep learning models, we still use like OpenCV to do some image processing, pre-processing and so on. So image processing here contains doing feature extraction, like feature detecting, it could be applying different filters on your images for pre-processing to your models or your other algorithms within computer vision. It could also be like do edge detection, corner detection, calculate different kind of like matrices. It could be homography matrices. If you want to have like two cameras, how do you relate multiple cameras to each other? We need to detect features in the images, relate them, match them to each other and so on. And now we're starting to get way more understanding of computer vision and how we can apply them to real world applications. So that is the next element here. When you actually get familiar with image processing techniques, good introduction to computer vision, what you can do with it, you have the basic programming and mathematics skills, then you can start to apply to real world applications, try to create some traditional computer vision algorithms that you apply to some basic images. It could just be a single image, it could be a folder of images, but it can also be videos. So videos is basically just a sequence of images. So it doesn't really matter if you apply your techniques and your algorithms on images or video. So once you're starting to play around with some real world applications, you get familiar with it, you also get pretty comfortable with computer vision and just playing around with code. So for the advanced topics in OpenCV, that could be like optic detection with some traditional methods. It could also be 3D vision, how we can combine all of these things here. It could also be like how you relate cameras to each other. So when we're working with computer vision, we often work with two cameras as well, especially like if you want to get depth information in our image as well. So if you only have a single camera, you'll act like lose depth information in your image, even if you just close one of your eyes. If you try that out, you will lose some sense of depth compared to if you have two eyes and that is the exact same thing with cameras. Then we need to learn about like how we can rectify our cameras, how we can calibrate stereo cameras, also just how to calibrate monocular cameras. We can apply image processing techniques on that. We can do some basic um, hard cascade 
phase detection models, try to estimate the depth to that and so on. So now we're starting to get into a bit more advanced topics, which will later branch into machine learning and deep learning techniques. And then we're basically combining both the advanced topics, 3D vision, machine learning and deep learning together. And that is kind of like the way where computer vision is going right now. So that is really essential when you want to become a computer vision engineer, but it is also very important that we have the basic image processing skills, the basic programming skills and so on already there. We can't really build the roof without building the foundation to start with. So you'll be a way more complete computer vision engineer if you're actually like start out on the basics and then just build on top of that until you start with machine learning, deep learning, and then you have like a whole library where you can apply different methods, different processing techniques, different machine learning and deep learning models to different applications because there's no solution that fits all. So for machine learning and deep learning element, we're actually covering like optic detection, optic tracking, segmentation, and all those different kind of things where we basically just have our input image. We have some label data, so we're using supervised learning. Then we have our label data. We train our optic detection or instant segmentation models on that data. And then we get the output. Could either be like a bounding box, segmentation mask, and so on. So we have the input image. We have our whole black box here, which is our neural network. And then we get the output that we can then use further on, glue together with some basic image processing techniques and with OpenCV and such. And then you're already good to go. So if you want to take your machine learning, AI and computer vision skills to the next level, I also have my courses on the website. You can go check them out. We have everything from optic detection with deployment, optic tracking with Yolo V8. We also have transformers and segmentation courses. The most interesting one for me is definitely like this research paper implementation course where we learn how to actually like implement research paper architecture. So we're going to have the architecture on one side, we're going to have code on the other side. So when we're talking about computer vision, you also need to know a lot about like hardware. So we're working with cameras, we're working with computers, depending on the application and project, we want it to run in real time, maybe we want to run batch processing and so on. So when we're working with images, we're actually like working with three dimensional arrays because we have like the 2D image, which is basically just the pixel intensities, but we also have three channels for color, so RGB. And then when we're combining all of that, we have a three dimensional matrix. If you're working with full HD images or even like 4K images, then we need a lot of processing power to be able to process those images, especially like in real time. So that is basically all the elements that we want to combine together. When you want to become a computer vision engineer, we always have to develop. You always have to stay up to date with the nearest technologies and so on. Could be on YouTube, Hawk and Face, read different types of research papers. So once you get to like the higher level of computer vision engineers, you need to also, also go in do the research, what are the newer technologies coming out, how are they used within AI. Right now, computer vision is also going towards generative AI, where we actually have these generative models that can generate images, but also do image captioning. It can do segmentation, detection in images, find locations of different objects, and even like segment out every single pixel in the object based on these foundation models, as you know from ChatGPT. They also have a vision model. So computer vision is also going towards that direction. So I hope this has helped you guys if you want to become a computer vision engineer. There's a lot of different kind of things here, but again, just start out simple, start off basic, and then just keep building on top of that. Don't just skip to machine learning, deep learning, because that is the cool thing right now. Don't just skip all the basic processing techniques and so on, introduction to computer vision and so on. It is really important to have the foundation and the groundwork before you just jump into all the fun part. All of that will come. Just remember the fun parts are actually like building projects, building applications, actually like seeing the things that you apply to the images, act like work in real life. So basically just create projects, increase the complexity of the projects when you get better and better at computer vision. And then I promise you, if you just keep on grinding, if you keep on learning, you'll become a very good computer vision engineer. So I hope you learned a ton in this video here. If you have any questions or anything, throw them down in the comment section. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Happy hunting. Bye for now.